Hey, we are here on the set of Reboots. We're in the middle of production right now. Uh, we're here at XCred Studios, which is located in the middle of a decommissioned electric bus factory where all great art happens. So we are gonna walk you through what goes on on set during one day of production for this incredibly fast moving stop motion series. So during this shoot, we're actually building set pieces while we're shooting, and then we're kind of prepping the next shots all back to back. So right in this small little area, you have our little workbench where we're building some set pieces. This is gonna be a, an easy up canopy that's gonna end up going on that set over there. And then once that set is completely prepped, animation's gonna move there. And right now, animation is going on in this little box. Uh, we can talk because it's already pre-recorded, so I'm not bothering the animator. I'm probably bothering him, but I'm not actually affecting his work. Right over here, we're doing costuming. Welcome to our amazing costume loft. Hey, look! <laughs> uh, Carlo does a lot of the costuming for our characters. So right now, we're in the middle of putting together the Rocks outfit for the cliffhanger scene. We've got all of these costume books. They're literally scrapbooks that you can buy at like an art supply store. That's how we keep all of our costumes. But these shorts had to be specially ordered because uh, all of our puppets, huge butts. Just giant, giant butts and pants don't go over them. Our puppets are 90% butt. <laughs> our, pu our puppets do not skip leg day. Kevin's really gonna hate this. Kevin is actually gonna hate all of this because <laughs> this headset is, you know, real wobbly. Don't be surprised if uh, when you watch this episode, he is not wearing a headset <laughs> during this scene because it is almost impossible to keep on there animation wise. <laughs> Hang on, Sarah. I'm coming. Oh, I slipped. Cat. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Great about working at you know a miniature scale is if we want to redo the set and be like oh actually I need this entire building to be six feet to the left we can just move it with our hands this is going to be this is our big action scene so this has to be spectacular spectacular Kevin don't mess it up the only thing is I had this thought of a guy goes into his temple and he gets thrown and then we cut to the outside and you see a guy go like blast through one of the doors oh, yeah. and there's nothing here now he could come out of this door I mean this is the more dynamic section of this set it would be pretty exciting for the action to take place that would be really funny yeah my thought is he just blasts out of that and it's all just like in the background yeah that'd be awesome hey thanks again guys for this opportunity I'm, I'm really gonna nail this monologue nah you're the man okay so that's Sweet. that's the plan So when you're working at this scale, sometimes you luck out and there are already like pre-made props that you can just get online. So for example, this camera that's just super detailed, we were able to pick this up online and then Nina put together, actually built this tripod to go along with it. And it's actually amazingly, this thing is incredibly workable as well. Uh, Kevin went ahead and made some working foldable director's chairs. You'll see these throughout the show on all the little sets. You're going to see these little red director's chairs. Right here in, in Video Village, the little uh, walkie-talkie and the rolls of gaff tape. Like, this is exactly what would be on an actual film shoot. You know, when we get to take show business crew members and they get to make sets for mini show business crews, uh, they go into heavy, hilarious detail. Like, I think this whole table is literally just sitting right there in human form. Back behind the stages, that's where we keep all of our pre-made items, set pieces, characters, basically anything that is eventually gonna be needed for filming, but is not currently uh, set to be shooting. So we have all kinds of props. We literally have thousands of tiny uh, miniature items, everything from uh, pizza boxes to uh, syringes. Little, little drawer of miniature syringes. You never know what, what kind of show you're making. All of our sets are made out of foam core, so that's a, a lightweight material. It's easy to use, it's great to make stuff with, but it can be somewhat fragile. So if you were to step on this or trip, you could you know, just shatter an entire wall and then we have to rebuild it from scratch. But in all of this stuff here, we have basically everything you're gonna see in all five episodes of Reboots right here on these couple set of shelves. 
So because we're working in kind of a non-controlled environment in this uh, decommissioned bus factory, uh, we built up some quick stages, then uh, hung up some black curtains because we want to kind of control as much light as we can, obviously, for the sets. So inside this uh, small little cloth box is actually one of our uh, stages being animated by Kevin, our director of animation. So you can see in there, we're actually doing the Uncle Jeff shoots right now. And uh, I believe a naked Keanu Reeves is about to pop out of the machine. So really exciting day here at X Credit Studios. Did John Wick just step out of a giant coffee machine? Matt, you just knew he was hung. Yeah, I think this uh good. It's um so on this screen we're going to put in a uh, the screen right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be the countdown thing. But he's fine just like that. 98 99 100 101 102 I uh, might have done my multiplication wrong here. But yeah, this looks great. It's funny. Funny, Kevin. Real funny stuff, buddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We want everything to be in the studio and obviously in a giant, a giant bus factory. It's very echoey. So we didn't know what we were gonna deal with recording. I mean, Carla walked around this entire factory and figured out that this bus actually pretty quiet and Carlo is inside there right now recording some of uh, Dwayne Baby Arm Johnson's audio so we're gonna go give him a bunch of notes and critique him heavily okay there's no recording light just brake lights it's a bus but just think smiling yeah. always smiling so he kind of has that he's just so positive. Hey family, The Rock here in my observation room. I'm up early with the sun clanging and banging like you know The Rock does every single day of every single week. Just remember, if you're not up with the sun, you've already started your day with an L. So let's go get this! <laughs> you started the day with an L so perfect. <laughs> that was great. That was exactly right. Like, cool. like the smile, the oh, what's up, nice. everything's so great. Yeah, cool. just, oh, like this guy's got nothing to complain about. Yeah, His life is fucking life. perfect. Yeah. The greatest life just treats everybody very well. Best life ever, yeah. What up, family? The Rock here in my observation room. It's six o'clock in the morning, which means that I'm already getting my second workout of the day in. Don't forget, if you ever skip leg day, The Rock's gonna hunt you down, and The Rock's gonna find you. <laughs> All right, let's get it, fam. Thank you so much for watching. Go check out The Reboots. It is streaming right now on YouTube, and subscribe to this channel. We're making all kinds of great new shows, and you can watch them all right here, and great behind the scenes where you can learn things like, you know, how we move those tiny little guys and, and make them do stuff. That's what we do. Tiny little guys doing stuff. Extra Credit Studios.